a group of Quakers chartered the John Woolman Memorial Association, established a memorial to tenants, to memorialize the tenants and exemplary life of John Woolman. The association's history is filled with events demonstrating respect towards their fellow men, humble, humbly, humbly serving the community, and living in Quaker simplicity. In 1746, a quiet revolution was born when Mount Holly Quaker named John Woolman had a God-given revelation and wrote these thoughts in his essays entitled Some Consideration on the Keeping of Negroes. I call this the Woolman Effect. Before the revolution was, before the Revolutionary War began, the Constitution was written, Black Lives Matter. When John Woolman wrote this epistle, he had no idea the impact it would have on the young country and its generations. I, I am convinced that this is a very weighty yearly meeting. It is critical that each of us hear from God, that none of us listen to our own inclinations, our own interests, our own desires. I, for one, am glad that Israel Pemberton has agreed to be our clerk again this year. Israel knows us. He knows the Lord. Israel, with my permission, I would like to share how God gave me a clear leading on the issue at hand. Thank you. As soon as I was old enough, I began to fetch supplies from my father's orchard, just over there, uh, at Michael Worthington's Mercantile. Now, Michael's do uh, slave Dolly taught my fingers how to sew, and though I now earn my livelihood as a tailor, Dolly taught my heart something much more valuable. Canst thou please finish? Well, Johnny, like I said, I had a dream, and I dreamed I was free. I dreamed I walked away from this mercantile, and I just walked. Nobody stopped me. I walked all the way to the ocean, and I jumped in and swam. Be quiet, bird! Dolly's trying to tell her story! <laughs> I hit it! <laughs> Uh-oh. Johnny, those baby birds are going to starve to death now, son. At least when Silas was taken away from me, I, he had a white family to look after him. But those little birds, they, they don't have anybody. Johnny, what are you doing? Get down out of that tree. You can't save them. Our food will just make them sick. I know. I know. I knew. I didn't climb into that tree to save those little birds. Even as a young boy, I knew I promised her mother that I wouldn't hurt her babies, and I knew that letting them starve to death would hurt them the worst. That afternoon, I proved the proverb, the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. I thought about what I had done all afternoon, and I realized that God has placed a principle in the human heart which compels us to treat other creatures well. When we follow this principle, it grows within us. But if we ignore it, eventually it does go away. I determined that day to let it grow within me. I determined to be good to every living creature, to be thoughtful and loving and kind, 